Hello, Internet. Today I share my story of converting an internal gear into external gear and put a carbon wheel on a folding bike. To do this, you need a new rear derailleur, new cassette, new shifter, and a new wheel. At least a new rear wheel. This is the new wheel I use for this experiment. It is from Super Team. They make some of the cheapest carbon wheels on Amazon. This is the Super Team wheel set for Brompton. Compared to the standard road bike wheel, the small wheel is so cute, almost like a toy. The finish and texture are quite nice. The design of the logo is not too big, look nice too. It surprisingly has a UCI logo. Maybe some Brompton race is UCI, I guess. The ring height is 38, the outer width is 25 and the inner width is about 18. The spokes are standard steel spokes, J-Band style. The weight is 935. The standard road bike carbon wheel set weighs around 1,500 grams. These small wheels are roughly two-thirds of the weight. The cassette body is about 2.5 cm, much shorter than our usual road bike cassette body. Tire looks nice, right? Personally, I find it looks super good. However, we cannot just put it into our C line. You see, the regular Brompton use the internal gear system. There is an internal gear in the middle of its original wheel set. If we were to just replace this wheel with the carbon one, this Brompton would only have two gears. These carbon wheels are designed for Brompton new T-Line. Notice the Brompton T-Line uses an external gear system, different from our old bikes. After some research, I found several conversion kits available on the market. They all look something like this. This one is from Hong Kong. Our task is to replace this with this. Then the C-Line can function like P-Line and T-Line. For this experiment, we will use a one-to-one -one replica of a Brompton. This is a titanium copy of the original Brompton. The only difference is this one does not have paint. So even if the modification fail, the surface won't get scratched. Firstly, we take off the original gear. And there is a screw hole. Then, within the conversion kit, there is a square-shaped part. Attach it to the hole. It creates two screw holes on the side, just like the T-Line. The next step is fitting the rear derailleur onto this and tighten it to the side. And this is it. The kit also includes a 7-speed cassette. Upon inspection, I think this is made of a 10-speed cassette. It means you take 7 gears out of the 10-speed cassette and made it into a 7-speed cassette. Now it looks like how a regular bike shifts. What's different is the tensioner pulley. When folding the Brompton, the chain becomes loose. So this long pulley keeps the chain in tension when folded. The shifter is also a 10-speed shifter. You only use the first 7-speed to shift. the installation. It seems like it is working nicely. In fact, it's much simpler than I thought. 
And since I'm not quite sure about the size of the front chain rig, I will leave the chain a bit longer for now and test it out. Here is the result. I think it looks pretty good. And the actual riding experience is fantastic. The acceleration and cruising feels great. Among all the 16-inch folding bikes I have tried, this one stands out as the best. Not only the new carbon wheels, I think the new tire helps a lot too. I have done some research and the Continental Conte Urban Tire is always recommended. Use it with the TPU inner tube, the ride feels wonderful. The gear shifts smooth and very fast. Much much faster than the original system. I would say I really like how it shifts. I think I enjoy this new shifting even more than the original. However, it is not without its flaws. I think that this setup still faces a challenge of the gear range. When I use 52 chainry in the front and 11 in the rear, it hits its limit around 18 miles per hour. So I switch to this 54 tooth one. It works okay, the top speed reach around 20 miles per hour. While cruising around 15 to 17 miles per hour in second gear. I also discovered that you can mix and match the rear cassettes. You can create a cassette by combining old 10 speed Shimano cassette into like 5 speed, 6 speed, or 7 speed setups. It is super fun. I will study more on how to mix and match most useful cassette for this project next. Alright, this is about it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye bye.